Welcome to this SharePoint PMP short video uh, where we will have a look on how to use third party uh, libraries in SharePoint framework. And the demo will be done by Waldeck and I will be jumping in uh, uh, with the questions as we move along. But Waldeck, take it away. Sure. So whenever you start working on a project, the first thing that you want to do is to grab the source from source control and after you, you do you want to uh, restore the dependencies right so imagine that you wanted to work on these two web parts that we have in project you switch to the command line and the first thing that you do is you run npm install to restore dependencies right so now packages will be in, in installed from npm on your disk and because this will take a while we'll speed up the video until everything is uh, completed All right, so now that the dependencies are installed, the next thing that you do is to build the project to check that everything works the way it's supposed to be. So with that, we call gulp bundle to verify that the project builds, compiles, and all that, and everything works the way it's supposed to be. So now we go through Webpack, and there you go. We got some errors. So let's have a look what's, what's wrong. Looking at the error, we see that Webpack could not resolve Angular. So probably we missed dependency in our project if we scroll through all that. So how about we check the code? We go to code, we open it, and here in our package JSON we see dependencies, but we do not see Angular. So there, there you go. Apparently the developer who, who worked on, on the code, when he added a, um, Angular, he did not store it inside the dependencies. So uh, an easy way to, to, to it is to say npm install dash dash save angular so that way when you and you do that you will add dependency to project and that reference will also be stored in project so that next time somebody restores the dependencies angular will be installed as well and if we now switch back to our project we can now see that angular is in 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 in, in installed in 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 here a reference as well and now when we try to run build, we bundle the project. And with that, everything is safe and sound the way it's supposed to be. There you go. So whenever you add dependencies to project, don't forget the dash dash save command, like npm install dash dash save. Angular, and that applies to Angular, jQuery, any dependency that you want to add. Keep that in mind. And this is Thank essentially you. what will be put in the TFS or Visual Studio Online and then uh, not the Node.js packages as well. So whenever somebody runs to npm install, this is what happens. But I think that's it for this one.